this is part two of the uh, Team Associated RC18 MT is what it's going to start out as and we're going to turn it into a B so a buggy but here's part two um, I did some work on the uh, servo because what was happening here, let me take the motor off here what was ha happening is this is a uh, high-tech servo it's not the stock so when that arm was going down if you can see it here I'll get down here so you can see it this arm was going all the way down it was hitting the servo Sorry, my focus isn't very good here. So I'll push it down here and then I'll show you. So that screw, it's not focusing very well. That screw was hitting the servo. So what I did is I took a Dremel tool and I just kind of notched right there, that servo. You can kind of see where I notched it. I notched it on both ends right there and on that side so that way when that servo goes goes down it doesn't hit and then also on this side so it doesn't hit um, I was going to just use a different arm you know just like a, a white arm that comes with the servo but I didn't like it because then this thing didn't line up the way it should and everything and so I know it seems kind of ghetto to sit there and grind on your servo, but I figured that was the best way um, to make it work because I didn't want it to bottom out on the servo. Anyway, so that's one thing I've done. Uh, my next step is, so the motor sits right here, and the, e the receiver I'm actually going to put down here, which is different than what the instructions show, because I want the ESC to be up on top so it gets all the airflow. Because I have a problem with my ESC getting too warm. I'm going to shorten these wires so that way they'll just go right into there. I don't like a big old wad of my wire mess, and so I figured um, the, cl the cleaner it can be, the better. I'm also going to cut this servo wire and shorten it just so it goes right into the. Well, I'm going to have some coil. I'm not going to make it that tight, but definitely not this long. I mean, that thing is long, so I'm going to cut it probably about right there solder it so it'll be shorter do a little coil and have it just drop right into the receiver right here so and it's going to be it's going to be minimal and then these wires like I was saying for the motor uh, will be right here and they will just go right into the ESC ESC will sit right here shorten those wires and they'll just go right into there so the next video I'll have these shortened right here these the orange yellow and blue and then I'll have these shortened and so I'll have everything mounted and so you can kind of get a visual and still waiting on the uh, the diffs and some of the other parts in order to get the the diffs assembled so um, up till now that's about as far as I can go so I'll cut the wires now now that I got the servo working, and then hopefully I'll have the rest of the parts so I can put the diffs together and make it look like a truck. So there you have it, part two of the uh, Micro MT. Oh, one thing I want to notice or note: I did the mesh tape on the body, this fiber mesh tape, drywall, and the shoe goo, which is right here. Just get that at Walmart in the shoe section. It's called shoe goo, and I gooped all the the back end. The sides that's where it was tearing anyway so that's why I decided to I may trim this up I don't know I, I, don't, I don't really like this whole monster truck look but anyway so that'll strengthen that up and uh, that's it